Measles is a serious viral infection, characterized by things like high fever, hacking cough, spots in the mouth, skin rash, and sometimes death. You'd think that was bad enough, but new studies out this month confirm what we've suspected for a while. In survivors, the effects of measles last a long, long time. This is Healthcare Triage News. Your immune system has a great memory, which is one of the reasons vaccines are so effective. When you're exposed to pathogens, your immune cells respond by creating proteins called antibodies. These antibodies remain within you after the initial pathogen has been eliminated. And should you come into contact with and be infected by that pathogen again, even years later, the presence of these specific antibodies allows your immune system to remember and quickly defend against the threat. Vaccines are wildly successful at preventing disease because they hijack this natural and pretty incredible defense system. One of the diseases we can easily prevent by a vaccination is measles. In the year 2000, measles was the leading cause of vaccine-preventable child mortality, with an estimated 535,000 annual death toll. Although increased immunization coverage around the world has drastically decreased measles mortality, annual measles-related deaths in 2010 were still just over 139,000. Alarmingly, worldwide cases of measles are increasing for the first time in decades, thanks to a decline in vaccinations. If these things aren't reason enough to get the vaccine, consider this. Measles infection can wipe out a large swath of your pre-existing antibodies, leading to effects that far outlast the infection itself. That's right, contracting measles can squash your body's ability to remember and fight off previously experienced pathogens, leaving you vulnerable to a host of infections as your body goes about the business of slowly building back up your immunity via pathogen exposures. Child deaths unrelated to measles increase in the years after a measles outbreak, and the measles vaccination has long been associated with an overall decrease in child mortality. In fact, data suggests that the majority of measles-associated deaths are due not to measles, but to infections taking root after measles has run its course. We've known for a while about this decrease in immune function after a measles infection. In fact, the first documented evidence of this was reported in 1908. Recent work has reported increased morbidity and mortality for up to five years following measles infection. What has been less clear are the molecular specifics of how all of this happens, particularly in humans. One of the two news studies circulating recently found 11 to 73 percent reductions of antibodies in non-vaccinated children after natural infection with measles. Individuals with a mild measles infection lost a median of 33 percent of their pre-existing pathogen-specific antibodies, while individuals individuals with a severe measles infection lost a median of 40%. The study did not find this reduction in children following measles vaccination, suggesting that this devastating blow to the immune system, called immunological amnesia, is a result only of full-blown infection with the virus. The second paper currently circulating in the news reports specific measles-induced changes in B cells, the cells responsible for producing specific antibodies in response to specific pathogens. Previous reports have suggested measles-induced changes in B cells as well as T cells, another type of immune cell programmed to remember and respond to specific pathogens. However, these two recent reports appear to be the first to offer evidence in human subjects to directly support measles-induced amnesia of the immune system as well as its mechanism. So that's exciting. It's also very serious given that this is just another potential deadly consequence of not vaccinating. Now, the consequence of refusing the MMR vaccine means not only susceptibility to three preventable diseases, but also a long-term increase in susceptibility to potentially life-threatening secondary infections due to prolonged breaches in the immune system's defenses. I may be preaching to the choir here, but maybe the choir will help me spread the word. We are so lucky to live in a time where we can easily avoid many devastating diseases and their long-term effects. Please take advantage. Vaccinate. Hey, did you enjoy this episode? You might enjoy this other episode on vaccines and herd immunity. You might also consider going to patreon.com slash healthcare triage, where you can support the show, just like our research associate Joe Sevitz and of course, our surgeon Admiral Sam.